Okay, I'm going to pick up where we left off on the last one. So I'm going to go back from this project where we left off to the instructions. So here's the rubric at the end on how you're going to be graded. So right now we have Mario faces to the right and left when you press right and left, and is animated when you walk either direction, and jumps when you press the space bar. Now obviously you could tweak this to your own accord, but the basic idea is your main character is animated and can move and jump. So ready? So moving right animated, moving left animated, jumps. So this looks great so far. Now I'm going to go on to the next part, which is we want two scenery sprites. So some kind of active background that's happening, okay? They're correctly layered with Mario, means like Mario runs in front of the tree, not behind, right? Your character's in the front. And they based on, or they move based on Mario and at different speeds. Oh, and they even roll over when they get to the end of the screen, okay? So that's the scenery before we get to the enemy. So let's do that right now. So the basic idea is I'm going to have this background pipe and these clouds that move based on Mario, okay? So in other words, or no, I shouldn't say based on Mario, I should say based on the user controls. So I'm going to take this, um, oh, right here, the moving left and right, and I'm just going to copy it over to my cloud, okay? Now the cloud's going to do the same thing, except it's going to be um, for moving the opposite direction as Mario to make the world seem larger. So in other words, when I press right, I'm not going to do any point in direction, okay? One time at the beginning, I'm going to make sure the direction's correct. And one time at the beginning, since I'm changing the X or the Y, I should actually just set it once. Oh, I had something bind here. Oh, look, I already had set the position. That's perfect. All right, so here we go. We set the size, we set the position, we set the direction, and then we go down to say, if I press the right arrow, instead of moving right like Mario, I want to actually move the opposite direction, but let's move slower than Mario. Let's move just like negative three. And then we'll do the same thing here. So if they press left, the clouds will actually go to the right. So now as I move, this is just one cloud, but see, as you move, he moves too. Now, if you wanted, you could just say forever change by like negative three and just have the clouds go by. I'm totally okay with that. In fact, let's do that with the clouds and then we'll do the pipe moves with Mario, okay? So I'm gonna undo this and I'm gonna copy this over to the pipe because I'm gonna use that. And then we'll just say forever have this cloud moving negative three, okay? That's the bigger cloud. Now, when I drag this over to cloud two with the smaller cloud, the smaller object we're thinking is further away, so it should move at a lower speed, right? Like the moon doesn't seem to move that fast because it's so far away, and yet clouds that are closer, you can see them moving, and then a bird or something that's closer, because it's so close, or a ball that's thrown by seems to zoom across your eyesight. So I'm gonna keep um, I'm going to do the point and direction, and I'm going to keep the starting position from this sprite. And I'm going to do the same thing. So forever, except I'm going to just move it at negative 2. And it could be a decimal. You could say like negative 1.5. That's totally okay. So now when I start, these two clouds go by. Now you notice because I duplicated um, the script over here, the position was wrong. So I'm going to move these over to the correct position. And I'm going to get rid of uh, that. So now when I restart, it's correct. So now the clouds are going by. You know what? That cloud one's just moving too fast. I'm going to switch that to negative two. And I'm going to do this one as negative one. And you can play with these values as you see fit. So now the clouds are going by. Okay. Now what I want to do, though, is if I look at the rubric, it says um, they roll over when they leave the screen. Because as is my game right now, now the clouds are gone. Right? So I want the clouds to come back. So the way I'm going to do that is I am going to go into both clouds and say, okay, they're moving forever left. So right now, if I check their X position, right, it's at like negative a thousand something. What I want to do is say, if it gets too negative, then go back to the right of the screen and come right back in. And so all I'm going to do is put a quick if, and I'm going to say, okay, so keep moving left. Don't let me change that. However, if that X position, so in motion, if your current X position ever gets less than the left of the screen. So if I do negative 240, that means right when the cloud's halfway out of the screen, it'll just boop, teleport. I don't want that. 
I want it to go all the way out of the screen. So let's pick something like negative 300. And then what we'll do is we'll say, so if the thing is gone, if the cloud's gotten over to here, all the way out of the screen, then move it to the right. So I'm going to say set x to positive 300. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, that's 30. Okay, so let's start that. Let's see. So I only did it for one of the two clouds. Let's see. Oh, yeah, there we go. It just smoothly loops around. So let's right click and duplicate that and let's drop it on my other cloud. Okay, so now I've got this that I can drop right here and let's try it. Oh, yeah, look at that. So we got two separate clouds going by at different speeds, right? It still seems a little fast. So let's do negative one and let's do, I don't know, negative 0.5. And then I'm even going to take my smaller cloud, which is this one, and I'm going to move it down a little. I'm going to set the Y to more like 65. So it's just lower. There we go. That's looking good. Okay, so now with the pipe, I'm going to use that code of when I move left or right, I want that pipe to move. So now, see, as I move, I run by. Now, maybe a pipe wasn't the best icon. Maybe I should have used the mountain. In fact, let's just draw some... Uh, some nice cute mountains like for Mario. Okay, so I'm going to change these to mountains. Okay, I'm going to go into costumes and I'm going to draw my own. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a nice green. Actually, I can use the dropper and do the same green as the bottom here. And then I could just make a nice little oval like that maybe. And then I could do a little uh, black eyes, right? Like a little Mario mountain. Like, whoop. Whoop, there's my Mario mountain. And then you go, but there's, why is there a bottom to it? Well, let's just erase the bottom. So there we go. There's my Mario mountain. Okay, so then we'll put that there. I'll click OK. I'm going to delete this. There we go. Holy moly, I'm on the wrong costume. There we go. And then we can make it a little larger. We can go back to the scripts and say, actually, at the beginning, I want it to be regular full size. Okay, so let's try that. Oh, look at that. And now do, 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 do. I should have made that a little large or a little uh, darker, actually. So let's edit that and let's go fill. How is fill with darker going to look? This is not the best editor. Oh, yeah, it looks fantastic. Oh, yeah. Ooh, but that's uh, not in the right position. So let's move it up a little. So there we go. That's better. And then I'm going to check its Y position. It's at negative 40 right now. So I'm going to change the the starting value to negative 40. Okay, so now I've just tweaked this a little. So there's a mountain that I run by. Doo, 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 doo. So now I have a background that loops around and I've got this other mountain that goes by. Now absolutely this mountain should loop. So what you can do is just take that if the X position and I can put that over here. So on the mountain I'll say if you ever get too far to the left then go to the right side of the screen. But who knows, maybe I went too far to the right because the mountain goes either direction. So relabel it and say, if I ever go past the right side of the screen, then go to the left side. So I'll put a little comment here saying, whoops, I want to do the whole if block there. So uh, if you go out of the left side of the screen, wrap around to the right side of the screen. Right. And then I'm going to do the same comments for the rest of the code, too, uh, for what everything does. But let's try it out. So if I keep running left, here comes another mountain. I keep running left. Here comes another mountain. I keep running right. And oh, I'm passing another mountain. Right. And so there we go. So that's it for the background. So now I've got an animated background going by. I'm going to stop this video and the next video we will do an enemy. OK.